I want to say, first of all, thank you so much to the people who watch. I can't say enough. Thank you so much to the people who watch or listen to the podcast. Um, I ended up taking a break and I didn't really mean to. You know, when I recorded the last episode of the podcast, I was not planning to take a break. And then, you know, when I ended up realizing I needed a break, I just leaned into it and took some time off. I want to say I- I'm sorry to the people who have been wondering and waiting for the next episode. I didn't mean to have poor mis- you know, communication. I try to communicate well with you guys. And um, I-, I just apologize. I always try to be as honest as I possibly can. I try to tell you exactly what's going on on my end. Um, and I kind of hit a wall. And once I realized again that I needed a break, I just leaned into it, tried to relax. I think my fear when admitting I needed a break, my fear is that people are going to hear that and go, you know, get mad at me and decide they're not going to listen to my podcast anymore. I don't want people to stop tuning in because I needed to take a week off. I'm sorry for the poor communication. And I, I want to tell people I've made some changes behind the scenes to how I do things and how I operate. Uh, really, for the last couple of years, I've had this crazy work schedule that's been really erratic and unsustainable where like, I mean, people know I upload the show at like two in the morning. I often and I'm doing, I, I stay up all night regularly. And I've had this crazy cycle that's really, really unhealthy where I would literally work for 30, you know, 35 hours at a time, just constantly go, 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 go until I would crash. And I'd work until I physically couldn't stay awake anymore. Then I'd crash for a few days. Literally, I'd be like totally out of it, like totally useless. And so I've made a change. You know, I created a more steady work schedule that's going to be creating content at a doable pace for the first time probably ever. Uh, And I encourage other people, if you make content, if you want to be a content creator, you got to do things at a steady, doable pace. It's so, so important. Uh, You know, it's kind of crazy, actually, I think that I've come this far without doing that. Uh, I I used to work really hard. I I started the schedule because I was in college doing a full-time job and school and a podcast. And so I'm trying to just make things more doable and more steady. I believe this is going to help me make better content more consistently uh, now, here's what I'm not doing. Uh, to be very clear, I'm not making a recording schedule. This is a work schedule behind the scenes, but I'm not making this a daily show. I'm not going to commit to recording on Tuesdays or Wednesdays or Thursdays, whatever day. I want to have just a private work schedule behind the scenes. And whenever my work is ready to be recorded, I'll record it. But I want to do that more consistently. And my goal is to make good content that I believe in. I want to make a product you guys like that I look at, I'm proud of, and I want to do it more often. Um, I, I My hope is that people can look at the YouTube channel especially and go every single day, there's a new video, there's a new thing coming out and it's not being forced, it's at a steady pace, it's good quality content. Uh, But I also gotta remember, I'm not a corporation. I'm competing against people that work for Fox Sports Radio and um, gigantic corporations or have gigantic teams of people. I'm one guy, you know, in a a studio at my house and so uh, it's just me. I love sports, it's my favorite thing in the world. And I'm excited for the future, but I want to be very clear. The reason why I'm not going to make a dedicated recording schedule is that I want the show to remain flexible. If I want to, if there's breaking news, I want to be able to record ASAP. Or if my, my film analysis videos, for example, take forever. And if a show is taking a while, I don't want to be like, I have to rush it and get it out. I want it. I want to allow for the creative process to take as long as it needs to. But I don't want it to be like I work and then I have a week off where like I'm crashed and I burned out, whatever. Um, and I want to be careful with that word burnout. I know people hear the word burnout and go, oh, is Zach ever going to burn out and quit? No, no. I, I want to be clear. I love this show. It's my favorite thing ever. And I, it, I, I want to make a career doing this. I don't have a college degree. And I, I want to do this for the rest of my life, honestly. Um, but I also want to make thoughtful, quality content. And doing that sometimes takes more time. So I don't want to rush to meet a deadline. So I'm not going to commit to recording on a certain day of the week, yada, yada. But I do want to be clear, behind the scenes, I've made some changes. I want to make content more frequently and do a better job of that. And I apologize to the people who have been like, where's Zach been the last week? I just took a week off. I didn't know I needed a week off as badly as I did. But as a result, I made changes behind the scenes because I love the show. It's my favorite thing in the entire world. And uh, it's, it's just my, it's my career plan. It's the best thing I've ever done, and I love it. And uh, I want to make the best show I possibly can. So thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I wanted to just be straight up and honest with the people watching and listening, tell you where I'm coming from and what's happening. And I know a lot of people are like, ah, I don't care about this stuff. We're going to get into sports. But I wanted to be very clear and upfront and tell you guys what's going on behind the scenes.